that way, coming up to start a lap of Rockingham, one of my laps in qualifying. Come over there, start finish straight here. Change to 60 just before we get to this first, well it's not really a corner for us, we take it flat but in the wet we have to have a lift and then we come down to the first hairpin here which is quite tight. Brake as late as possible, the braking's quite tricky here. Down four gears to second, you sort of miss that apex and then get this one here. And then on the power as early as you can, up to fourth gear before you get to here. Late braking again into the corner, into third and out of here. Use all the track that you can without having all four wheels off. This is quite tricky because you tend to get quite a bit of understeer and if you don't get back across here for these S's then you tend to lose out there, which I did a little bit in qualifying. Then you get down to this double apex corner which is one of the new corners this year. And that's a second gear corner again, but it's really important to get a good exit out of there for this uh, long straight here. Uh, this is quite a quick corner. It's quite blind as well and it falls away on you as well so it's quite a difficult corner. But again you use all the runoff there to put in fourth gear. Then we've got one that the last hairpin here. This is probably the slowest corner on the track, but it's really important again to just get a good exit. You've got quite a lot of runoff, so you can let the car run and get on the power early. And then the last corner, which is the most important corner on the track, really. And really important to brake late and then not just carry too much speed through the middle here, because the only important bit is this exit here. You need to be on the throttle as early as you possibly can be, and because you've got a really long run up for the first hairpin down there. Yeah, that's my lap of rocking.